You know, I really believe if we took them into a room and just talked to them, it would be fine. Yeah. They'd understand. We want strength. We want good health care. We want protection. We want borders. We want the wall. We want the wall. But uh, if, if we could sit with them for about 10 minutes, maybe, maybe they'd understand. Say hello. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Hi. Hi. And you know, it really amazes me how people from the other camp want to come in here and mess up our stuff because they stuff is boring. Yeah. <laughs> but we all know that Donald J. Trump is going to make America great again, again, don't we? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, we know that this is not a rally, but this is for our veterans. Yeah. But I want you all to know that it is imperative that you get out and caucus for Donald J. Trump and vote for yes. Donald J. Trump. Yes, yes. Yes. And see why they on the other side debating. <laughs> we got a negotiator and a job creator right here. Yes. Yes. And it is up to all of us to help Donald J. Trump make America Great again! I'll tell you what, they are something, those two. Right? Was that something? They really have, they've become a sensation all over the internet, all over everything, and uh, we really appreciate it. So, just to sum up, we have an amazing country. We need strong leadership. We need compassionate leadership. We have to take care of our health care. We have to take care of our borders. We have to make our military so strong, so big, so powerful that nobody messes with us. We're never going to have to use it. We want nobody, nobody to mess with us. All over, and I tell this story all the time, I see our generals, they're always on talk shows. They're retiring, or even when they're not, they're talking about where the enemy is, how the... I don't want generals to talk. I want generals, and so do you folks. I want generals that have action, that know. I want General George Patton. I want General MacArthur. We want generals. We want people that are going to keep us safe. So, I just say this. We are a country that doesn't win anymore. We don't win anymore. When was the last time we won? We don't win on trade. We don't win in the military. We don't be beat ISIS. We don't do anything. We're not good. We're just not the same place. We are going to win so much. We are going to win at the military. We're going to win at the border. We're going to win on trade. We're going to get rid of Obamacare and come up with great, great, powerful, wonderful health care. We're going to win again. I'll tell you what, we're going to win again. We're going to win at every single level. And we're not going to be laughed at throughout the rest of the world, because believe me, they laugh at our stupidity. They cannot believe what's happening. We send weapons over to our allies. A gun is fired in the air. They hear one sound of a bullet. They drop the weapons. The enemy takes them. And now people come back from the Middle East and they tell me, Mr. Trump, they have better weapons than we do. They have the new versions. They have the best weapons. The enemy. Not going to happen anymore. It's not going to happen anymore. I will tell you. So, this is a special night for me, and I had no idea this was going to happen. We started out literally 24 hours ago, maybe less. We had no idea, and we went out. We set up the website. I called some friends. And we just cracked, the sign was just given, we just cracked six million dollars, right? Six million. And we have outside a list of the organizations and folks that are going to be getting this money. We're going to divide it up and they're going to get a lot of money. Everybody's going to get a lot of money. And they're really great. And we watched and we were very careful in selecting because we want to make sure that the costs are down, that the people are really doing it with the heart. The heart is so important. And we have picked out some really amazing, amazing veterans organizations. So 
This has turned out to be a much different evening. I thought this would be small. I didn't even know if it was going to happen. And it turned out to be a phenomenal, a phenomenal night. I've gotten to meet some incredible veterans. I've gotten to meet John Wayne and your friends, and they are something. I'm not going to mess with them, okay? And I want to thank my entire family. I'll tell you, you have Vanessa and Don and Jared. Big success, right, Don? Jared, he's doing good. And Ivanka is going to have a baby in two weeks. In fact, we have, we have a hospital all lined up. And you know what? I'm doing great. I love the people of Iowa. But I said, Ivanka, it would be so great if you had your baby in Iowa. It would be so great. I'd definitely win. Stand up, honey. Say hello. Sync Battle, hosted by LL Cool J. New episodes Thursdays at 10 on Spike. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I hope, obviously, there were some glitches here and there, some odds and ends, but uh, all in all, I hope you got the gist of it all. Good night now. Follow iHeartRadio, iHeart.SmithRadio.com. Follow us everywhere, all over the place for you. With unfathomable power. What kind of power? Unfathomable. It's unf- without fathom.